Hello! If you have a twin engine model like this Twinstar, it would be nice to control both motors separately. That is to have differential thrust uh, coupled with the rudder function and working on both motors, the left and the right, the same way. And possibly to have this function switchable so that you can uh, switch it on or off during flight. But is it possible with a simple transmitter like this uh, Futawa T6EX to realize this complex function uh, without any external control board. This Futaba T6EX transmitter only has two free programmable mixers, but normally you would use uh, or you would need at least three mixers and one or two uh, free auxiliary channels to set up a proper differential thrust system. So. I used a little trick and this is uh, using the integrated V-tail mixer and change of the stick mode and I would like to show you how it's done. So um, create a new model storage, let's say model 6, reset the whole memory, now it's done and go to the V-tail mix, activate it. The VTEL mix, uh, mixes the elevator and the rudder 50 by 50 percent, but uh, we have to reverse one of the channels. This is because uh, in a VTEL model, the two uh, servos for the VTEL surfaces are mounted mirror wise, so that one servo uh, rotates clockwise and the other counterclockwise to move the control surfaces the same way. This is not what we want. We want to move the servos in the same direction to power up uh, the two ESCs uh, in the same way. So we reverse one of the channels, channel 2, like this. And now we have to change uh, the stick mode. Uh, this is done by switching the transmitter off, pressing both buttons, switching it on. My transmitter is uh, on stick mode 1. I have to change to stick mode 2. If you fly normally in stick mode 2, then you should change it to stick mode 1. And uh, in principle, now it's done. Now we have a differential thrust if we uh, wire up our uh, receiver uh, accordingly. But um, because the channels 2 and 4 are now occupied by the two motors. Uh, we got rid of the rudder function and this can be overcome by um, setting the rudder function to a new channel, uh, to a new free channel. Uh, this should be channel 6 and this is done by the programmable mixer number 1. Should be activated. 100% of channel 4, the rudder, and slave is channel 6. And we can also make it switchable. Um, we assign this function to a switch so that we can uh, switch on and off the rudder during flight. This might seem as a gag, but uh, maybe you want to check the effectiveness of uh, the differential thrust on its own. So we assign the switch uh, number 5, the channel 5 switch, to the rudder. It should be on in this position and off in this position. So that's uh, okay. And um, the rudder was assigned to channel 6 because uh, this is uh, the only channel that can be adjusted in its neutral position with the function flap trim, FLTR, so we activate it and uh, this sets uh, the position for both positions of the switch. And this should be uh, set to 0%, that's uh, the neutral position. So. Right now, on channel 6, uh, the rudder function is completely mimicked uh, as it comes from channel 4. Uh, 
what we also uh, want to have is uh, the differential thrust function switchable also during flight um, but we cannot uh, assign a switch to the VTL mixer this is uh, either on or off but what we can do is to cancel out the rudder input to the VTL mix by a switch and this can be done with the second programmable mixer Activate it and this should mix the rudder function by minus 100% on itself if it's activated. So the rudder function is inhibited uh, when uh, this mixer is activated. Master is channel 4, slave is also channel 4 and the switch should be the flaps switch. And it should inhibit the rudder function in this position, yes, when it's on, and uh, activate the rudder function in this position. This is uh, how I want it. And okay, we can now set the percentages in the VTEL mix to, uh, the, to our desired values that might be a little bit more aggressive. On the rudder channel, let's say I set this to 75%. And I can um, it's assign uh, aggressive, the, the aggressiveness uh, to a switch. Uh, this should be the, the dual rate switch for the rudder function. It's uh, function number 4. In this position it should be set to 100%, so this is uh, the aggressive mode. And in this position let's set it to 50%, the normal mode. Alright, now it's uh, nearly done. One uh, last thing is the uh, failsafe function. Um, because... Um, the failsafe function is always assigned to channel 3, that is normally uh, the throttle. But right now, um, as we use the transmitter for differential thrust, it's uh, the elevator channel. And when the receiver loses signal, um, it would set the elevator to 20%. This is not what we want. We want to set this to a neutral position. And this is done by moving the stick. The elevator stick is on neutral position, 50%. We assign this by pressing this button. Okay, now the programming is uh, done completely. Um, you have to, to bear in mind that the receiver has to be wired up a little bit differently. The aileron is still on channel 1, uh, but channel 2 and 4 are now uh, occupied by the right and the left motor. Channel 3 is the elevator and channel 6 is the rudder. Okay, now let's check how the programming applies to our plane. Now I've wired up everything. Um, of course the aileron has to be wired with a, a Y cable uh, to the transmitter because there's only one channel left, uh, the number one channel. Transmitter is on, uh, throttle is uh, on full throttle. I now activate the uh, receiver. So the, the ESCs are calibrated. The differential thrust is activated and the uh, rudder is also uh, activated. And let's see how it works. So I will give rudder left. As expected, the right uh, motor revs up. Rudder right, left motor revs up. Uh, throttle 50%. Both motors are revving up and now I will uh, set the throttle to 50% and 
Give a full throw on the rudder. Yes, as we would expect, uh, one motor stops. Now I go into the aggressive mode or crazy mode and set the throttle up to 75% and check whether uh, the rudder has uh, the effect of uh, stopping one motor completely. Now for 100% this should uh, even in the crazy mode uh, not uh, bring one motor to a full stop. For the rudder function uh, itself, right, elevator, aileron, also moving. Rudder can be deactivated. Now we are only on differential thrust, and this can also be deactivated. Nothing happens, only elevator and aileron, so we have a bank and yank machine. Um, of course, the uh, trimming is uh, the same. You have all the trim functions, but um, for the rudder function, the trimming uh, applies only to the differential thrust. If you want to trim the rudder itself, then uh, you have to set um, the flap trim values uh, in, in both uh, positions of the switch uh, the same way. And um, because uh, then, uh, otherwise, uh, if you <laughs> if you toggle this uh, switch, uh, it would be different in the in the rudder trimming. All right, so that's it. This is how to set up differential thrust on a, a Futaba a simple T6 EX transmitter. Bye bye.